Hello, my name is Andrew Wilkinson, and in this just-in-time video short, we're going to look at creating wrap-up codes. Wrap-up codes are extremely useful labels that can be appended to each segment, so each segment, each agent that handles a call, and then perhaps transfers it to another. Each one of those agents is capable of adding a wrap-up code of a call in order to add definition to the resolution or nature of an interaction. Knowing how to create a wrap-up code can allow an organization to quickly and easily gain added depth to reporting. So enabling or creating wrap-up codes allows administrators um, to create an extra data point that can be used for people evaluating reports based on the performance of a call center. So being able to quickly create one and set one up gives them added capability to get good performance metrics on how these calls are being resolved. When we say resolution or nature of an interaction, we're talking about sales call completed successfully, or perhaps the first agent on a call realizes that they it's, it's out of their depth. So they could have a wrap of code for escalated higher level support. Then the next person who is the higher level support, they did fix it. So their resolution is completed. And then somebody looking over this could notice that perhaps that first level of support never gets the answer. And then use that information to make it so that it always goes to the second person and the first person can be better utilized elsewhere. So it's extremely useful. Before demoing, I just want to point out a few points on wrap-up codes. One, they are created in the wrap-up container in Interaction Administrator. Two, it is an ACD workgroup feature. It does not apply to workgroups that do not have ACD queues and you activate it in the wrap-up codes tab of the workgroup. It can be both numeric or a name, so you can have a wrap-up code be numeric, which is digits so that they can enter it in directly through their phone or station, but you can also have a name that can be assigned through the client. And finally, multiple codes can be assigned to a single workgroup. Okay, so here we are in Interaction Administrator in the wrap-up container. Now, we have to go down one level to wrap up codes subcontainer underneath wrap up. Wrap up categories is not needed for basic wrap up code setup. And we see that we have a bunch of wrap up codes here. We have the wrap up codes. So here's the name that can be entered in through the client, or selected, I should say, the digits that can be put in through a station. We can actually label them so we can find them easier. And as I said, category doesn't apply to basic wrap up code setup. So we want to create one. So we could do control N or we can hit this green plus sign up here. We give it a name, perhaps if it was a call that has been resolved. So it was resolved support. Then digits, you can type in one five, ah, see one five two is already taken. So you must be careful, it will not allow duplicates. We'll say two five two can be entered in through the phone in order to assign this wrap-up code to a segment of a call. And we hit save, and there it is. It's been created. So now the final step is to assign it to a workgroup. So we go to the workgroup, which has an ACDQ. We go to the wrap-up codes tab. Okay, we activate it. This one was already active. And we can add this new wrap-up code that we've created. We go down to R. We go to Resolved, click OK. It is in here. Then we have a few little values that we can set up here. One, keypad wait time. This is how long it will wait for a wrap-up code to be assigned through the station or phone. The client wait time. This is how long it will wait for them to be able to assign it through the client. So those are separate. If they don't assign it in this period of time, then it will be null. There will be no wrap-up code assigned. And finally, a special prompt file if you want a special prompt um, to tell them to put on a wrap-up code to the call. Okay, so that's how we create a wrap-up code. All right, thank you so much for joining us in this just-in-time video short. And please look through all the rest. We have a wealth of information.